They were trying to become the richest person on my Minecraft server. And currently, the richest player has over $260 million. I have 16,000. Let me explain. The last couple of days, I spent almost all my money upgrading my base. And this is where all my money went. So as you can see, we're kind of broke now, but at least we got this sick base. And one thing I want to do to make it even better is go mine for an hour and see if maybe we can pull a little bit of profit. All right, guys, that's one hour of mining. So as you can see, this is all that we've collected so far, and it's pretty crazy. These emeralds I actually bought on the shop for a cheap price. We're, we're actually pretty pretty well off here. We are broke, but we're gonna start making massive money today by leveraging my brothers. Guys, I'm gonna do something so insane and incredible today that it's gonna produce money for the rest of this entire series. But if I walk over here, it's where Isaac and Ben lives, and their bases are insane. What I noticed was that Isaac was making a rail service that connected all of our bases together. He's trying to charge us 25 grand to use it. Not a bad price. But I got this idea. This rail right here connects all three of our bases together. And because they're so rich, I can build a mall right here. So I'm going to reroute this into my mall and try to create a mega money-making machine. So uh, first things first, I would like to find the center of this. Okay, so I think what I can do is I can kind of like break the fence here and give the rail like a little bit of a curve and literally give them the chance to drive right into my mall. And the way I'm gonna play in this mall is insane. So check out this idea. I've been thinking for days on this, guys. This is gonna be just the beginning of something crazy. And I've also got a surprise to show you guys, but let's get started on this. Before the surprise, first, I need to get this thing built. So the rail is obviously going to be coming in. Can I just buy? some like i'm investing a lot of money i don't know if it's a wise move but 85 dollars for a rail yo i really don't like what i'm about to do here but i'm about to spend like a couple maybe about a thousand dollars on some rails and i'm out of money let's just get this looking right Okay, there it is. So all we need to do now is eventually add, I think a lever or like one of those activator rails that'll switch and they can just take a quick pit stop at my place and go from there. So um, this will be the entrance to the mall. We need to get some stairs. I mean, I could, how much is Blackstone? That's a great block. $258 a stack. If I buy four stacks, that's a thousand. I've already spent like $5,000, man. This don't pull a profit. I'm going to be a little bit scared. All right, we're going with the nether theme because Lover Industries is officially expanding, guys. This is the new Lover Industries mall, the beginning right here. And I think just a big fat staircase all the way along just to showcase our wealth. Oh, it seems like Isaac's planting some trees here. I don't think he'll mind. Really, Willie? Who knows? My concern is this might end up looking more like a train station than a giant mall. And I think we need a big, big fat door. Like something that just says, yo, this is it. I'm gonna try something here. This might be a little bit too exotic for what, what we're going for. I really have no idea. Let's see. Let's just get a quick visual. This is what it looks like from the road. <laughs> that is big. Okay, guys, so I just bought 500 string uh, because I think I'll just make my own scaffolding. I'm pretty sure bamboo is exquisitely expensive. Right over here, somewhere in my base, I've actually got like a massive bamboo farm that I've been working on. It's 85 bucks per bamboo thing to buy, to sell. It's like worthless, but there you can see some. So let's go ahead and harvest this bad boys now. Dang, this is, talk about satisfying. Breaking bamboo is just a whole nother level of it. So you guys, we're becoming self-sufficient in this series. We will become the richest at any cost. Wow, okay, that gave me a lot more than I expected, I'll be honest. Nice, guys, look, we're using scaffolding. We're doing it, we're really doing it. This is great. Call me Mumbo, boys, call me Grian. Wow. And that's the view. Let's go ahead and cut down some trees back here so we obviously need some room to expand. Guys, you may notice I'm getting glowstone dust while clearing this out, and that is because my shoveling they call it excavation level is so high, I don't have a chance to get glowstone instead of dirt, which is kind of cool. Okay, guys, I just warped back to spawn real quick because while we're building, I thought I could unlock all my daily crates. I've collected them over the past days, open them here to see if we get something that maybe helps us out. So let's open all seven of these right now. Okay, that's worthless. $2,500, that's, I'll take it. Oh, a sword, okay, popsicle sword, that's pretty legit. We're not getting anything that's gonna help us at this point. A sheep spawner! We just got a sheep spawner, guys! That wasn't me, was it? That was someone else. Someone else got a sheep. God dang, that was someone else. Five thousand okay, I made I made seventy five hundred dollars so far. Five thousand dollars again. I've made I've made a lot of money. Last one. Another bow, dude, I literally got nothing. So I saved those up for days. All right, well, unfortunately we got nothing that was good, but uh, I guess I got some I got some stuff to sell. I mean, I'm, I'm getting quite the collection here of these items, so. Okay, so now I looked up a lot of research on the best mall strategies to get sales. And they say people always walk to the right when they first walk in. So I think this will be the main entrance, but all of our good sales will be to the right. And I feel like we'll just put a little bit of a marker here for now. Like that needs to be some sort of like art piece. You know what I'm saying? But how does this look with it? Birch? I feel, like that, I feel like that's kind of a clean look, you know? I like that. And I'm not just saying that because there's so many birch trees around. It's the only resource that I currently have available. I would never do that. 
you go to the in-game server shop, you've seen this all the time on the series, you can buy things, right? So I could buy a piece of dirt. It's usually 10 bucks, right? But what I can do is I can sell it 20% cheaper. I'm going to collect it myself and then sell it here, which means Isaac and Ben will always get a cheaper discount at my store instead of the server shop. So there'll be no reason to not use this, which means I'll be able to get them to buy everything they need from my store. At least that's a theory. I don't know if it's going to work, to be honest with you. What do you see the first time you walk into a mall? You see people trying to sell you cars by entering a raffle. So I'm going to set up a raffle for my brothers to possibly win a brand new car. I'm going to put it right in front of the window so that they know there is something they could win. So this is the idea. They're going to walk up and see this and realize that it costs one diamond to enter. They'll put one diamond inside the hopper and obviously it's going to give the hopper to me. I'll be able to collect this and get all the diamonds. Okay, so this is what it looks like, guys. I'll actually be covering this up with carpet, but inside the dispenser, they'll be able to pay me a diamond by dropping it in, then pull the lever and then we'll either get the you win or you lose try again hopefully it works in my favor so let's do a test here to just see pretend i pay pull the lever so i would lose 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 so all it needs to do is work nine times to pull a profit and uh so far i'm feeling pretty good oh i already lost dang okay wow okay maybe um maybe maybe it may i don't know man i mean it just has to hit that middle one that's why it's kind of scary maybe it's a good way to get them integrated into the casino or into this mall, not the casino. All right, this is where the magic comes in. Boom, 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 boom. And then we can start setting up our chess shops. So guys, my server has a custom made program that allows you to set up the mall, which makes it even cooler. If I shift click, put a sign down and then do bracket shop bracket, it actually sets up a chess shop. So I can right click to set a selling price or a buying price. I can actually buy their items as well. They can sell them to me. Now that I've got this set up, they're all stocked with items. I need to set the prices. So I have a look here and I see how much a diamond or, or a single diamond costs. It would, you to buy it would be about $1,275. So I could sell it for $999 and it's actually a lot cheaper. So if they ever need a diamond, instead of using the shop, they come here and they're getting like a 40% discount and I get like nine times more instead of selling it to the shop. So this is brilliant. Also, we're selling for $999 because psychologically that feels better than a thousand. Right, guys, so here is the shop. So it's now fully functional. They can come up to this and actually buy items. All right, so I call it or and more. Okay, I just spent a bunch of money to buy some glass panes. I want glass panes because that way they'll be able to still see what's inside and tempt them while walking or driving by. This whole thing, I like I said, it's going to become a window, but I want it to be like a stained glass piece of art, and I have no idea how to do that. And then what I'm going to do is also charge them to set up their own stores in the mall, because by making this, this is going to be the central hub for all sales. So now I can be like, yo, 25K if you want to set up a mall. Boom, that's mine. I could actually charge rent long term. <laughs> oh, I'll do that. So I'll make this one up for rent. They'll be able to buy this one from me and I'll have to rent it every single week to use it. This is right across the freaking literally the front one. So it should be worth the most money, I would think. All right, that is absolutely beautiful. And you'll be able to see all the chests in through the window right there, right there as you drive by. And you'll be like, yo, what is going on in here? So now we'll just set up their stage over here. And this is where they're going to be able to start up their own chest shop. Again, going for consistency here. I want it to look good. Okay, so there's your three chests, four chests versus four chests. Very nice. We'll have room in here to decorate this how we want. There, we're putting a pole in the center to show that this room is off limits. And they're going to have to pay me in order to get in here and use it. So guys, I'm going to write a book now, which will be the rental agreement book. They'll be able to see this and know what to do when they get on all the restrictions. We're going to deck this thing out and it's going to be awesome. So here we go. I'm going to charge $2,500 per week. It's a low price. That way they're guaranteed to use it and hopefully make a profit. In fact, I might even do lower. I might even do 1000 per week. I'm going to say failure to pay within five days means I get everything in your store so that's the book thank you lover fellow industries okay so what i'm doing guys is I, I don't like the diamond there i feel like that location it was at like really broke into like the whole fact that there's two stores here and you can't even read them it's a nice pathway it looks good for a mall <laughs> i love the windows so i'm gonna move the diamond little casino item back here for our people that visit the mall all right, guys, so now it's back up and ready to go. I actually increased the price. I feel like one diamond was not enough, so I said two diamonds per pull. That way I'm more likely to get a slight profit, but I don't even know if I will. So that's what it looks like now. I think it looks a lot better than it did before. I need to get some lights in here and make this thing look a little better. I need to spend some time sprucing it up and make this actually look like a legitimate mall. I don't know how I want this wall to look, to be honest with you. So uh, we'll just try it like this. Oh, guys, okay. scaffolding's amazing. I've really not used it to its potential yet, but now I understand the beauty behind this. I'm wasting all my money. That is very weird. Whatever's going on over here, I don't like that at all. But looking in the mall there, that's a beautiful design. Okay, now I like the way the window looks right there. That's kind of clean. What I don't like is how it's extending off to the side and how to fix that. 
Okay, well, I thought that would fix it. It seems like it really just didn't fix it. You know what? I actually like that a lot. I haven't really touched that side yet, but it's coming together. All right, so I'm, I'm just adding a couple more shops here. I don't know what I'll sell in these others, but like, I think it's gonna look a little better from the street like that. That way, when you're driving by on the uh, rail cart, you'll be like, oh, whoa, what's that? I need to get that rare item in there. If you're driving by this way, you'll see it there. Oh, no! Oh, thank goodness I had explosions turn off on this plane. Feel like we're under attack right now, perhaps by a uh, angry skeletoid. All right, come on, buddy. I can't, I literally can't reach you. Oh, jeez. Guys, I don't know what's happening, but this just became a very dangerous build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The zombies are off the charts right now. My goodness. All right, guys, now before I invite Isaac and Ben over to see if they'll even try to rent this space, see what they think of them all, I need to go do some little bit of work back at my base. So let's go back home real quick. By the way, look how, look how clean this is. Can I just say, look at this base, all right? This is a beautiful chest room, the nether portal here, my crafting zone here. This is where my ideas go throughout the week as I think of them for this series. It's just amazing. I'm gonna tell you right now, we're on track to not only become the richest on the server, but also look the richest. And although I can't yet afford Isaac's $25,000 train trip, what I am working on is actually turning this entire base into a massive pyramid. So before I invite them, let me go ahead, clear out a little bit of this, and see what that's going to look like. I think the biggest issue is I'm kind of like entering territory of my farm, so I'm going to literally have to like demo my farm just to get my base built, which is not exactly what you want to do. So this is the basic idea right here. You can see it's starting to become this sick like nether fortress pyramid, right? Problem is, I gotta like push the base back to make a real pyramid. It all has to be even on all sides. But you can see it's coming together slowly and Lover Industry is becoming something fantastic. So guys, let's invite the brothers in and see what they think of the brand new build. Isaac, your base is looking absolutely beautiful today. It does look good. You like my ducks? I do. And boy, do I have something special ride to show you, you today. You can ride the ducks. That is a great... Oh my gosh, guys. It's iconic what he's done here. Now, Isaac, because Ben's not here, why don't you follow me down this path? Nice campfire. We're actually going to go off-roading a little bit today. I got a little bit of a special offer for you, and uh, I think you might like it. I do. Oh, wait a minute. Is this my rail station? Did you break my rail station? Now, it wasn't broken because I don't have permission to use it. But let me show you what I did do, Isaac. I expanded upon your rail station right here with the brand new Lover Industries Mall. Take a look at this. Right, so you connected to the rail station, but you're not- Now, technically it's it. not connected if you look at it. Well, it now, is why don't you follow me down this rail station? The yeah. brand new mall, all right? This is the early stages of the mall. It's gonna be massive. Take a look at what we've got here. If you walk in, this is the Oren Moore store, now open for business. Is this Every supposed to say Oh. You Whoops. All right, Isaac, so over here, this is the or and more shop where everything here is 100% guaranteed to be cheaper than Slash Shop. And over here, if you pull this lever, this other front window unit is up for rent. So see what you think. You've got an opportunity to buy this now before Ben gets his hands on it. And this will Do be the hub of all future trades. Well, how much is it? Well, read the book. So it's $1,000 per week? $1,000 per week. That's not bad. I wanted a nice fair price to get this bad boy up and running, all right? That's a fair price, and this is a window unit. You can see this on the rail car that connects our bases. How, how much bigger is this mall going to get? Well, if you read the fourth page, you'll see more information. Mall owner must be contacted for any building. Oh, a homeowner's association, basically. Right, so we do have a homeowner's association. The Lover Industries Mall needs to look professional. That's what part of your $1,000 will cover per month. You know, the thing is, I would have to sell more than $1,000 per week here to make this worth it. Oh, it will. This is where the new future will be, Isaac. You're investing in the future of this group every day. Whoa. People will check to see what's going on here. Oh, I think there's one more thing you forgot. Come on over. Every mall has a vehicle for sale in the front of it. So what we got instead is a little bit of a game. If you want to play it in your own time, two diamonds, you pull on the hopper and you get to pull the lever. If you get the winning block, can, that block is yours. I just bought a store from you. Can I do a free pull? Nope. Please. No free pulls. Give you a glowstone. Nuh-uh. Oh, you lose! Every day, Whoa. people will check to see what's going on here. Considering you are one of the two people that could come here to purchase. And I will be here them? daily. You know that for sure. Okay, I will buy it then. All right, congratulations to our new, you just, that's actually the front. Well, you know what? That's fine. Well, it's now the front door because I own it. Now guys, congratulations to the brand new owner of this side of the shop, $1,000 per week. Again, if you uh, read the contract there, failure to pay within five days will result in a one diamond late payment. There we go, guys. The first sell sale has been made. Isaac, congratulations. Welcome to Lover Industries. Oh. Would you like to see my new store name? Now that is going to possibly infringe on the homeowners association design criteria. Let's take a look. That is the, that's quite the story. I just paid $1,000 to advertise that you suck. Congratulations, Isaac. Welcome to Lover Industries. We look forward to working with you. If you want to join today's server, you can join it with the IP address play.loverfella.com. It's totally free for Java players. See if you can make more money than me, Isaac, and Ben. Peace.